Hello and welcome to Sebastian's shop. Today we're going to make a watch holder. Welcome to Sebastian's shop. <sighs> so to make this watch holder, I'm going to use this piece of 2x4. And I am going to draw my design on it. So I'm going to show you my design. So this is the design right here. And then it has all the space to weigh the watch down. And the watch sits on this little pillar. And maybe you can put like an inlay there for the last name of something that you're going to give it to. So I'm just going to go cut this out on the bandsaw. So now to finish up this uh, watch holder. As you can see I just cut on the bandsaw. I'm going to file the edges. And it makes it nice and rounded. And then that'll give a nice roundness or chamfer to all the edges. And then also, I'm going to use an orbital sander with a 120 grit sanding pad on it. And then that'll smooth it out real quick. And it'll be a lot better than hand sanding it. So, I'm just going to sand it and show you how to turn So this is it all sanded, this side, and then this is this side, they look extremely nice I think. So then once you sand all of it, you're going to want to put a finish on it, because you're all done. Um, there are many different finishes, you can put stain on it, you can preserve it with finish, yeah, or you could paint it. and. I'm gonna do that. I have this American Accent Smooth Gloss Finish. Uh, it's Apple Orchard. So I'm gonna use Apple Orchard and use Apple Orchard on this to paint it. So I'll just put a finish on it. So this is it with a finish applied. And it looks really nice. And more importantly, it works. You put your watch on this little pole thing. You can put it like that. And then it works super well. So I'm just going to show you a few photos of how it works at the end. uploaded a video in so long. I just had a lot of schoolwork. So please join me next time and make sure to like and subscribe.